For those who don't know, I was a portrait photographer for a decade and it went catastrophically wrong. And, and there's kind of some hard truths in there which I've not really shared before as to why I've moved to food. And I think, oh, still life more than anything, but I think it's worth communicating these things. And, and this is all based off a comment I recently got. Um, and they kind of had a half truth in there. And it was, did you change for the money? Kind of. But let, let's look into that because it's more complex than you think. So for those who don't know, I was a portrait photographer. I was pretty good at it. You know, not not amazing. I was pretty good. Um, I made good money. Had a good time. Had good friends. Had a good lifestyle. I did well. I had an agent as well at one point. Towards the end of my career, I had an agent whilst I was doing that too. It was good. It was fine. I was shooting adverts. I was making decent money. Not as good as I do today, but that's not genre related. Um, I also have a, a, I thought I had a natural aptitude for portraits, but what actually happened, much like musicians, you choose an instrument and you go and learn it. I chose a genre and I went to do it. I didn't experiment. I was, I, I was around lots of interesting, cool people all the time. Um, a lot of the people I was friends with have now gone on to do great things and I was photographing them. I was going on tour with big bands. I was shooting magazines for music magazines, fashion magazines, as well as local corporate work, not commercial corporate events, headshots, I even shot weddings. Ooh. But uh, that is not the reason it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me because it was the wrong niche. And the question was, how do you know it was the wrong niche? You say it was the wrong niche. It sounds like you just moved on to more better money. And I did do that. That is the byproduct of this. But the reason it was the wrong niche is because I never thought about it. I never thought, ah. Oh, what will I be good at? What actually happened was I got a camera. Someone offered me money to take portraits. I took portraits. I went, ah, oh, I'm making money doing this. Let's do more portraits. And I got good at it. I have some personality flaws though that made this not so good. Now I'm going to make this family friendly. So, you know, we'll keep it all in there. During this time period, I partied hard. I did everything the rock bands did. I did everything the models did. I did everything. I was living that life. I couldn't have been a bigger cliche if I tried, because that's what I thought I was supposed to do. Now, now that I'm a bit older, my idea of a good time is to be in my nice, silent studio, where my thoughts can overthink and overcomplicate simple situations, where I can have my own self-induced panic attack over things that aren't actually going to happen. My idea of hell is being backstage at a gig. My idea of hell is being on a tour bus. My idea of hell is having to be this excited person in front of real people. This is easy. I'm looking at a lens, a little pink bit of tape to make sure I look at it so I don't keep looking at the screen like this. Keep on the lens. I find that exhausting. And I was too young at the time, uh, mentally, maybe not physically, but mentally to realise that it was not for me. I didn't realise until I was well into my mid thirties uh, that I'm, I'm an introvert. I like being alone. Working with people is exhausting. Even if I was better at portraits than I am at still life, it would still be the wrong choice for me. Just because you're good at something doesn't mean it's your career path. Now, thankfully, I'm better at still life than I was at people. And also, thankfully, the way it works is better for me. I really like doing YouTube. I hate doing in-person workshops. I love doing digital download workshops, but the thought I went to the NEC a few years ago to talk to people there, that, I didn't like that because there was, there was no control over it. If I made a mistake, everyone saw it. I can't just cut it out and then jump to a new section. So that's why. It's because I hadn't thought it through. Now, there are genres of photography that are far more profitable than others. Being a creative portrait photographer, not that profitable until you can turn it to certain things. I used to do a lot of shoot for brand endorsements. So the brand would pay me, not the person. I would shoot for fashion brands. The brand would pay me, not the model. I would shoot for brands that wanted to have their images shown in a lifestyle way with people around it. But what I did a lot of and what I really enjoyed doing, and I still kind of yearn for it, is shooting portraits of people. But one-on-one. -on -one. I don't like a team. I don't like a lighting assistant, a digitech and all the rest of it because it's too much pressure for me. But my favourite thing to do, the absolute love to do, is to have my team of people around me. And it's different when it's my team of people, not with a subject as well. And I love to create an image from nothing. I like to walk into my studio, have nothing out, build a set, choose an item, choose a narrative, whatever it may be, and capture that. 
that I love. Now, now that I am a bit older and I do understand the, the quirks and flaws of my personality type, I am starting to move back into portraits. But I'm doing it in my style and I'm painting my brush across my portraits. But more than that, I'm shooting them on my terms. And I am privileged enough to be able to do that because I make enough money doing my other stuff. If I don't want to do a portrait, I'm not going to do it. If I don't want to work for a client because I don't like the way it's going to go, I don't have to do it because I have a flourishing business in photography. And also nowadays, thanks to you lovely people, I've got a flourishing YouTube career as well, which is the weirdest curveball that I didn't see coming. But that's why my business failed. I chose the wrong business for me. And it is so easily done. And I think everyone should have a sit down and just think, is this the right thing for me? Is it what I should be doing? Is it serving me and is it making me happy? So if we're just looking to make money, there's plenty of jobs where you can make a lot of money. If you want to live through your passion, just make sure you're doing the right passion.